When I was a kid, me and my brother shared a room. And um, that is not inherently funny, although if you knew my brother, it would be a little funny. And so we couldn't stand the sight of each other. <laughs> couldn't stand the sight of each other over the breakfast table. It's just we both are not morning people. We couldn't look at each other. So we build these barricade walls, of cereal boxes. And one day over the Cheerios wall, I hear my brother said, "Last night I had a dream in which the meaning of life was revealed to me, and it was so clear." I'm just, I'm just tuned. Um, it was so clear that I wrote it down, and it is by the, it's on my nightstand. And he was about ten, and I was about eight. And I said, "We should probably finish eating. You know, we should let's just have breakfast, <laughs> and then we'll go back and we'll." Discover the meaning of life. <laughs> and so after breakfast, um, my brother is that actually was the kid who skims, checks those little squares, you know, skims them on a stick of butter, and also puts water on his cereal. So clearly he was the conduit through which enlightenment would be delivered. <laughs> so after breakfast, we go to the room, and there is in fact a piece of paper on the nightstand. And it does, in fact, have writing on it, but it doesn't look like my brother's writing. It's this strange scrawl that looks nothing like his normal handwriting, as if he had written with his left hand or by through some divine guidance or something. But on the piece of paper, there's just a single sentence, and it says, "Intellect is the egg which must be pondered." <laughs> That's how you introduce an instrumental song. <laughs> And it is not the title. <laughs> the song, uh, I wrote this for my sweetheart, it is called Now Take Flight. Thank mm -hmm. you.